Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So, in my previous video, I just pieced him together. Look how big he is. I'm gonna step back so you can see a little bit. <laughs> He's awesome. So let me put him back up. He is 40 inches, and so I'm gonna show you how to make him in Design Space. So let's get to it. This is the Etsy file that I used. So I'll give you a second if this is the one that you want to purchase and, and come along. Um, we, I had to still make some alterations to it, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you want to use this file, I thought I liked this file because um, I can make him big, 40 inches, right? Because each section is in pieces, so everything could be um, really big. So, I mean, even looking at the white, it's broken up, right? So it's like his belly, each hand is separated, and then his chest area. And so each part, each layer, um, just look like it can be really big. And it could be, because it's 40 inches, but um, you'll see in a second why I say that. <laughs> All right, let's bring him up. So let's go to new project. And upload here he is first of all he comes over yellow <laughs> it's not a big deal obviously because we could you know I can easily change the color um, but you can see here's his black layer it's not complete here's the red and then here's the white so let's make him white first because I found it so distracting <laughs> all right so here is the white. Now, actually, if you notice, um, did I have these cutouts? I didn't have the cutouts in my red layer for some reason. I don't know what happened there, but now that I see it, um, oh, the red is bigger. Look at how it went outside the black. Interesting. All these things that I didn't notice when I first pieced it together. Um, and then you see how the white is on the outside? I mean, the file's just not very clean. That's the problem that I have with it. The other thing is, look at my white layer. Um, let me undo this. For, well, let's duplicate him for a second. And then, oh, it duplicated the white. But see how the white is a full layer? When really, it's just a couple pieces here and then the face and the body. Like, I don't like how it's like this because then you have to slice up the whole image. Um, so let's delete that for a second. Actually, let me move this over here. I'm gonna make my myself smaller. I had myself really, really big so that you could see the cat in the hat. Okay. Okay, so first thing is, um, let's slice out the white pieces. So take your black and hit the shift, well first, sorry. We want to grab the whole thing. Let's make him 40 inches first because I know he can be 40 inches. And then let's zoom out so we don't have to scroll up and down. And you can see here like how it sticks out, right? Like I said, it's not a clean file. So we're going to just go with it. So you want to take the black and hit the shift key and grab the white and slice. And did it not slice? Okay, so weird, it didn't slice. Okay, then take the white, hit the shift key, and let's slice with the red, just so that now the white is in multiple pieces. Everything sliced out of it. Okay, so let's, all these things we can just get rid of. We don't need all that. So see the red, oh, okay, so let's undo that for a second. If you want those little cutouts, you gotta take the red, hit the shift key with the black, so we have both of those, and let's slice that out. And it didn't do it, so let's do it again. Red, oh there, okay, it's slicing out now. Okay, so here's our red. Right, we're gonna get rid of all these little pieces. We don't need all these little pieces down here. Here is this, we don't need. We can just um, delete, 
We don't need our black either. Um, because we'll come back and get the that. Okay, and here is here is our white, and we can delete this. So see how I was telling you, it's just a little crazy, right? And you're probably wondering like how this is my white layer. So um, the white is just the middle two pieces and the face. So the easiest thing to do with this one is let's go to contour and let's hide everything. And it, what did it, okay. So let's click on the white that we know. So this is white, we want that. Oh, it didn't hide everything, hold on. Okay, here we go. I want this piece, this, oh, not that one, that one's red. I want this piece. I want this piece. This piece should not be that big. Let's get rid of that, okay. Uh, we want the face and we want the hands. And we want the bottom. And then these little pieces actually were pretty big. So I'll keep those pieces in. And I think, oh, and this is white, this brim of the white hat. The rest we don't need, okay? So let's click out of that. Um, oh, we do want the eyes in there, sorry. So let's go back to this one and go to contour. Okay, so we want, we need the eyes and the nose so that it will cut out and this little piece, okay. There, uh, I think we're still missing a piece of the eye, but I think that's okay. All right, so this is what we need for the white. For the black, I would upload him again, insert him. And this is another reason why um, I like to go to the height and change it as opposed to just going to the cursor and making it big until I think it's okay. Because when you need certain elements, it's easier to make it 40 inches, for instance, then I can just re-bring him in. Now on this one, I would just weld it and that will give you the black background. Okay, we'll just make this black. Um, okay. So now what will happen is let's arrange them to the front. So here are our white pieces. And again, we, I need to bring in the other, um, the other piece of the eye. Let me see what the eye looks like. Actually, yeah, I need to bring in the eye, but everything else looks pretty good. And then the red arranged then to the front. This will go in like that, and it's almost perfect, right? Um, okay, so with the red, we do need to fix a few things, so let's go there. And I think it's easiest probably to click hide all and then select the pieces that you want. We only want the big major pieces here. Okay. And then here you want to get, okay, so I think that's it. Okay, perfect. So here's our red, and that looks really good. Okay, let's go and just fix the eye real quick. Contour, so we need, that's the red. <laughs> let's go to the white, contour. Okay, so we need to get this eye I think that's what we need. There, yeah. Okay, so now we have all our pieces, okay? So with the red, let's look at the red first because the red is the easiest. We wanna separate this because right now it's 12 and a half inches by 20 inches. The only, we can't cut it the way it is, right? Because um, using 12 by 24 cardstock, it's too big both ways. So let's go and just bring in a gigantic square and we're gonna slice everything apart. So when you're slicing, you can only slice two things at one time. So it's gonna be my square and let me move this over. We're gonna do this bottom part of the bow, right? So we need to tilt it a little bit. 
you want to make sure that the piece that you're slicing apart is completely covered in the shape and nothing else is. So right now, I think that looks pretty good. We can grab the red and the square and slice. And so that little long piece of the tie will be separated from the red. So now our red has gotten smaller, right? It went from 28 inches to 25. And then you can just get rid of this. We don't need the slice results. But now this little guy is by himself. So that's perfect. Let's bring it over here. And I'm gonna use the same square. That tie is completely inside that square. So I'm gonna slice the two. And now this is separated, right? So, and this tie is what? 10 and a half inches by four inches. So it can definitely be cut on our Cricut with 12 by 12 cardstock, right? The, the hat completely can be covered, can be cut with 12 by 24, 12 by 12 cardstock, I apologize. And with the red, I was able to jam all these pieces onto one sheet. So let's grab this and I'll show you that when we get to the make it screen. So we're just continuing to slice this apart so that we can fit it all on one page and um, you don't waste, you know, nice, beautiful red glitter cardstock. All right, we have just one more slice to do. So on this one, you gotta make sure, you can't slice it like this because then you'll slice this part apart. So let's make sure that the top piece is completely covered in the square and then the other piece is outside of the square. And slice. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, so this piece we can get rid of. And now our red is completely unassembled, right? It's all like this. I know we can fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, so we're good there. So let's get rid of that. Let's look at our white. Now our white, if you remember, uh, let's see. It, this piece is actually red. This piece is right here. So we could stick this piece in and slice it out so that we're not cutting extra white. I don't really like to waste it when I don't have to. So let's see, what's the easiest way to do this? I feel like it's not completely in. Um, it's almost easier to just, um, we'll do that at the end. But anyway, on this one, Let's, um, let's slice him in half because there's a big break right here. So let's bring in a new square and then we'll have to slice him up. So we'll move him apart over here. Let's bring the square in. Let's make this really big and let's slice him in half at least. So here's that. And, okay, so our top part is 12 inches by 19. So obviously still too big, but we can remove these pieces and it'll be, um, so let's, I'm gonna move it like this so that we can slice this top part out. So using the same square, you see that piece? I'm gonna make sure it's completely covered in my square. Then I'm gonna grab up this way and slice. So get rid of this. Here's my little white piece, right? So that's one piece that we're done with. This is now 11 inches by 14, still too, too wide, right? We need to get this piece by himself. So you can do this, I think. Yep. And watch, we're just, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Just grab enough right here to slice. Because you saw we have all this stuff in here. As long as your cursor only grabs two items, you can still slice. So here's our little piece that we want. This is the white part of the hat. Okay, so now he is nine and a half inches by 15. So he's still too long. We need to separate out this piece. Once we separate out this piece, he's good. Now this is really close to together so I'm not going to be able to slice it. I'm going to use contour to separate it. Separating it into two pieces. So with contour, however many number of pieces you want to separate into, that's the number of copies you need. So in this case we need two copies of this. 
So here's my second copy. My first copy is gonna be the white piece. So let's click on contour and let's hide all. And it's leaving me the face, right? But I want all those pieces because I want the eyes, right? So I need to click on all of this. So here's our face. Our face is now nine and a half inches by 10.8. Perfect, we don't need to do anything with that, right? So he's going to be seamless. The red and the white parts are all seamless. So when we put it together, he's gonna look amazing. What we're gonna have seams with will be his black background because he's 40 inches, of course he's gonna have seams. But the red and the white are gonna sit on top and cover most of the seams and because there's so much black, um, I did use black glitter cardstock. So a lot of seams are, you don't notice it as much with the glitter cardstock. So, all right, back to this one. Now we need to contour and we want to hide all. We want this piece and we don't want the face. So we're left with this little guy. I mean, he's six inches by four. I would just leave it and then take your scissors and slice it right there. Um, that would probably be the easiest thing. Okay, so this we can get rid of. Now we have this piece. It's 11 and a half by 12.5. So it's a little bit too long and a little bit too wide. I would separate out these two pieces. So I would break this up into, let's do four pieces. One, two, three, four, okay? So here's copy number two, three, and four. And then let's go to contour because everything's so close together it's going to be easier to contour okay let's hide all it left me with the hand here's my other hand and the top part i said i was going to keep those three together so this is eight and a half by 10.8 so yes we can definitely cut that with the cricut let's click on the next one contour hide all and this time i want the bottom piece i don't want this hand and we have this, 9.3 by 3.1, good. And now we need to get those two little pieces, right? So contour, hide all. I want this piece, I don't want the hand. And then this last piece, I want these two pieces. So let's go to contour. Hide all, and I'm gonna say I want this piece and this piece, and I don't want the hand. Okay, so now my whites are all separated. So I'm good there. Let's click on this, get rid of this. Now we just have this gigantic black piece, right? So we're gonna need to split him in half because he's 16, in, 16 and a half inches wide. So he's just a little bit too big for our paper. But lengthwise, we're gonna need four rows, right? Because three rows would only, even if you were able to go all the way to 12, that would only still be three times 12 is 36 inches. So we, we need the four rows. So basically we need eight squares, right? Two and then four going this way. <laughs> so let's bring in our shape. Let's bring in a square. Our first square, we're going to make 11 by 11. I don't like using half inches. So technically you could cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? But in this case, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna do 11, put it just kind of up here, and we're gonna go to our position feature and we're gonna round to the nearest whole number. I promise you this is worth the effort because then everything is flushed and easy to put back together because it's all on uh, like, like a big puzzle. So 38.9 becomes 39, 20.7 becomes 21. So what we're saying is the X coordinate is 39 go over 39 units, go down 21 units, and here's the beginning of our piece. It's because I'm, I scrolled all the way down. Okay, let's duplicate the square, put it really close to the first one, and round. So 50.3 becomes 50, 20.9 becomes 21, and I'll show you the math. So this starts at 39, right? 39 plus the 11 inches is 50, and there's 50. Okay, so now hit the shift key. We're gonna grab both squares, and we're gonna duplicate because they are already flushed with each other. Now we'll make this set flushed with the top set. So if you put it close, then round. 38.9 becomes 39, 32.1 becomes 32. 
Then you have four, right? So hit the shift key, grab this one and this one and duplicate. And now we have this set with this set. So let's put it close. 39.028 becomes 39, 43, and now we have eight flush squares with each other. So let's grab the black background, arrange, send to the front. So now we're looking to see where do we slice this up where it makes sense. So some of this, for instance, this to me looks kind of good. We don't need this square, right? Because the hat completely falls here. This is, so let's, this is gonna come down and slice off. So this whole piece will be one. Um, this, the bow tie will be off by itself, but at least it's a big enough piece. Or we could try to, I wonder if we can shift, hold on, hit the shift key, grab this one. I wonder if we can move it over. I think it's just a little bit, oh, it's just a little bit too wide to fit on one square. So this is up to you. If it were me, I would do this. I would be okay with this little sliver not making it onto my mat. Then I have just this, right? And I'm wondering, will these two fit? Let's see. I don't think so. I think he's just a little bit too fat down there. Yeah, so that's too much. So let's move it over like right in the middle. So you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. He's gonna be in six pieces. I think this looks pretty good. I don't mind that being cut off because he's kind of a funky shape and it's not that big of a deal. Or, you know what? We could make I was gonna say make this square a little bit longer, but I don't know which one that is. So let's, okay, I'm getting crazy here. Arrange, send to the back. Okay, so this square, I wanna make, I'm gonna unlock it, and I'm gonna make this length 11.5. <laughs> and then I'm gonna scoot it over and now nothing's cut off. But see, this is why it's great to work on a grid because you can move things over and I know I haven't messed it up. So now let's scroll down, grab him, arrange, send to the front. And now he's pretty perfect. So let's start slicing him up. Let's slice the top. We're slicing one square at a time and making our way through, okay? So, there's our first piece, let's grab this, slice, this, slice. Now, like I said, working in the grid, then we were able to move things around and we could always put things back because everything's on a whole number. So this is a glitch. When this happens, just hit the back arrow. We won't slice this one, we'll slice around it and see if it if we run into that error again. Okay, so I'm gonna slice this piece then, and then slice this piece up here. Okay. And then to make life easier, what I like to do, oh man, it's acting crazy. So let's undo that. Let's see if we can slice this one again. Because you see what it's supposed to look like when it's done slicing. It's supposed to just look like this. Um, did it not slice? Okay, let's see. Fingers crossed. Okay, so it worked this time. All right, so let's move all our pieces over to make sure that we have the right pieces and nothing's wrong. Um, so, oh, it, it gave us a little error right there. We should have, I didn't notice that, so we we needed to undo that. Um, hopefully that didn't happen to you when you were doing this, but so here are our pieces. Oh, why did you 
do that to me let's see so we don't need the actually we don't need that piece so this is actually fine it's like this and then this little piece is extra for some reason um i would just do this okay and then i'm gonna grab these two and i'm gonna slice and hopefully that sliced it off for me we'll see in a second Okay, good. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Design space is acting really glitchy right now, which is okay because we're almost done. All right, let's get rid of that. So this is what he looks like, um, which will be great because look at his face. It's gonna go right here and cover up the seams right here. So you're not really gonna notice it. All right, let's go to the make it screen so I can show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's the white. Um, I would move these pieces because I feel like it would, could fit. So let's move this one, click on the three dots, move object. And I think he would fit, I don't know. Let's see if he'll fit there. Let's. So I would move these over like this right oh this can even move down this one i would rotate this way oh yeah it fits okay so it fits there hold on let's move oh these all fit now okay so let's go back over here we still have this big piece let's click on this and move object I don't know if it will fit, but let's try to see if it'll fit with the face. And this piece was not, we didn't even need it, right? Because part of this is the red piece, so it's so annoying to me. I should have sliced it off and then it would fit on two pages. Um, let's click on this and see if there's space on, there isn't. Oh, there's still this piece. Okay, let's confirm. Okay, so you'll have three pieces of the white. Here's our black. These are pretty big pieces. Um, but I think this one can be moved to the other one. So let's click on the three dots, move object, and let's move it with this one. Oh, he fits, look at that. Yes. <laughs> so we saved one cut. All right, I don't, think that one's pretty big i don't think it's gonna fit anywhere okay let's look at our red so our red is pretty good it's on another page the one thing that you can do is you can click on this and click 12 by 24 then i'll put everything on this mat and then you can start to move things around so let's see if we can make this work um Right, we're just trying to be really, really efficient. And look, yeah, I think if this is all the pieces, then we can fit this in. And like, it's well under 12 inches. So even though it's showing on a 12 by 24 mat, just, it doesn't matter. Put your 12 by 12 cardstock on your 12 by 12 mat, if that's what you have, and it will cut fine, as long as you're above the 12 inch line. And that's it. And he's gonna look amazing. You can see him back there. I'm gonna see if I could zoom in anymore or actually let me see if I can, um, no. What I wanna do is this so that you can really see him, okay? He looks amazing. Um, why can't I make this bigger? I can't see where it is. Okay, here we go. Can you see him? Oh wait, let me move this way. He looks so good and he's on a foam board. So catch the assembly video so that you can put him together. Um, some good tips with, because he's 40 inches, we had to glue together two pieces of the foam board. All right, let me know what you think. Comments here, feedback so that I know how to improve and I will see you guys next time. Bye.